Hi, Megan here. I am. Um, I've tried to do this video. Oh. Dustbuster. Very handy. Get one. Not sponsored, of course, but hey, Dustbuster. Sponsor me. Sponsor everybody who has pets. Dustbusters. So I've tried making this video and I just keep not being able to do it because I know that we've talked about aquatic and exotic pet loss on this channel and it is important to talk about um, and I've talked about it, but I just wanted to do a better video on it because the last video I made on it was me crying in a car while it was raining and, you know, <laughs> I just think I can do better. Um, so starting out with this really, really sad news. I lost Minx, my really, really, really sweet Daegu, who was a rescue. She was the one who was so sweet, even though she'd been mishandled and she had no tail and she'd been overbred, so she had hernias and she was so sweet. I love all my pets, but you know how sometimes you just get a really special pet? She was really, really special. Uh, but also, it, it was hard losing her too because honestly, a, a lot of people don't even know what a Daegu is. So while you're trying to, to tell them, like, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not doing well. My Daegu is dying. It's like, oh, what's a Daegu? So I guess um, I wanted to kind of mention, I, I do think it's important to just tell your friends and family that it's important to you and that you need support. Um, and I think most of your friends and family, unless they're jerks, um, will respect that and will, you know, understand even if they don't get it that you're hurting and that they want you to feel better um but I also do find it's really helpful to just have kind of um a, a preset little explanation so that people know like when I'm talking about minx now I say well I keep these really sweet animals called chinchillas and they have the personalities sort of of kittens and they really want to be on the people that they bond with all the time and they're so sweet and she passed away and that's that way they just already understand and you don't have to keep answering questions about this dead animal that you're mourning in like you know, normally I want to animal educate all the time. I've like looked into trying to find a way to make it my job, but I, I don't know how to do that. And I'm old and I own a house and I don't, uh, if anybody has any pointers, let me know. But other than just doing it as a hobby on YouTube and with my uh, community's children, I, I I don't know how to, like, you know, make that a career, uh, but so, yeah, just, even if it's a fish, just, like, have your little thing explained ahead of time so that the person doesn't accidentally hurt your feelings asking a lot of questions that you're probably not really in the mood to answer. Um, I also stand by my original point that it's really, really important to find your community 
your people that keep fish, your people that keep hamsters, your people that keep dagoos, your people that keep whatever you keep and view them as pets and talk to them about it because that's going to make a huge... Oh, Mr. Kitty. No? Never mind! No, Mr. Kitty. He just wants to meow and nip at my bare legs. Because that's what he do. That cat. Anyway, um, but I strongly stand behind finding your people, um, your, uh, Discord groups, your, uh, Facebook groups, even though I know sometimes those things are terrible, your YouTube people, your, uh, like the people you make in the animal forms and the animal communities and in the pet stores and stuff, just like, Make sure to connect to those people because it is really important to be able to share your grief with someone who understands it. Like even, um, I've been like trying to hang out with this guy lately. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I still think I'm going to die alone. I mean, alone except for my animals because... I love animals more than people, but I've been trying to hang out with this guy lately and he's super awesome and amazing and supportive, um, but, like, like, Daegu died and she died, really, I got to be there with her the whole time, and, and that was good, but she died, you know, in my arms, and, uh, He's been really sweet, but I can tell he doesn't get it, you know? It's like even people, when they're being really sweet, if they don't get it, you still, like, need to, like, you know, get with your people who get it. Um, whether it's your friends, uh, if you have a group in real life or an online community, it's kind of the YouTube community for me, who uh, all my pet friends I've met through, um, and then I super, super, super still agree with my third point, which is be good to yourself, take care of yourself. I understand that a lot of us can't take off work. Um, every time we lose a baby, we can't, we can't always physically take the time that we would like to take, but take time for yourself, do things to take care of yourself. And my final point is definitely really important, which is don't go out and impulse buy another animal. I know it's really, really hard not to. For I, I mean, I, it depends on the person. I know some people who are like, I had a dog and I loved that dog and I could never have another dog again because that was just my dog. One of my friends from high school is like that. He's just like, that was my dog. I can't, I can never get another dog. Um, and then, uh, But, you know, a lot of us, like, I I mean, I have three Daegus now still, so I, I don't need to go buy another Daegu. I don't need to go buy any more animals. But for people like us who take a lot of joy in adopting and taking care of uh, small mammals, reptiles, and fish, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's tempting to go get yourself a new pet to make you feel better. But just instead of that, take that love and funnel it into the pets that you already have. And just like do like a big haul for them and like pimp them out with that energy. And I feel like that it gives, for me at least, it gives me the same satisfaction of adopting a new pet. But I've also made my animals' lives a lot better. So, um... Yeah, that's all I have to say. I can see it's almost 10 minutes now, which is, is insane. I'm, I thank you if you've watched to the end. Please like and subscribe. Um, 
I know it's silly, but I really do care about this channel and I love getting subs and talking to people in the comments and stuff. It's how I find my pet and silly people community. Um, so yeah, please like, subscribe, share, uh, take care of yourself. I'm sorry for any losses you're facing. Uh, if you have any tips on what you do to face loss with more unusual pets where like, you know, if your dog dies, people kind of get it. They kind of have like a respect for that and, and a sort of vague idea of what to do. But what do you do when you lose an aquatic or an exotic pet that helps you and that, you know, brings you more peace? As always, love your pets and they will love you back. And thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me that anybody cares. <laughs> uh, da -da -da -da. Good night.